as the Tiny Housewife. You may have even followed along with us in our adventures in the tiny house in Alaska. The rest of you may know me as the girl who went head to head with a Batman impersonator in the Taco Bell drive-thru. But the point is, I love Kalamata olives and hummus and I'm ready to start today's video. Today I wanted to go into the components of our solar setup and maybe inspire some of you who have yet to start gearing up for your solar setup and for sure get some feedback from our more experienced off-grid members. I know for a lot of us this is pretty intimidating. I uh, wasn't raised in an off-grid house. I was raised in a small log cabin on the border of Willow and Talkeetna, Alaska. Living out in Alaska, especially out where I grew up, there was plenty of people who were off the grid and I was really lucky to have the exposure to those who weren't tied in like my family. From the paranoid old man who wanted to move underground and grow mushrooms to the family who lived on a property with no road access, I was exposed from an early age to these different styles of life that people are living right now. So this video isn't to say that I'm an expert on solar, I'm very much not and this is a learning experience every moment I'm living it and I've already had failures and ups and downs and it, it gives me a great deal of anxiety but I think that we all are trying to work towards a common goal whether or not it's for the environment or for our freedom or some mix in between we want to be off the grid we want to be providing our own power we want to be the manifestors of our own destinies I thought I bought two 12 volt batteries that were 185 amp hours but now that I'm looking at it I have two 6 volt batteries that say on the battery they're 205 amp hours but on the website now they've changed it to 180 amp hours but then it says capacity 205 so let me know if you have any insight into why the, the difference in description. From what I understand, I can wire them like this. And if I do that, my I believe my voltage becomes 12 volt, but my capacity of amp hours stays the same. Let me know if you have any insight on this. So if I wire my 6 volt batteries in a series and I am given a 12 volt output, that's perfect for my system and I believe that my amp hour stays the same as what's listed on one, 12, on one of the 6 volt batteries, so that's 205 amp hours, um, or what the website lists, which maybe is 180 amp hours. Why it's different, I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me understand. So that means that my 360 watts of solar should have an easier time charging up that 205 amp hour battery. And my understanding of this is that if you can't get your solar panels to charge your battery bank enough in a cycle, it will damage the batteries? Question mark? So let's move on from the batteries, but any of you out there who know what I'm talking about, especially seasoned solar setup owners, whatever we call you, soloneers, um, please give me some advice or uh, some insight and you can hear what I'm talking about surely you know some of the reasons that this information is rattling around in my brain and uh, your insight would be greatly appreciated let's move on to the solar panels I chose I have three 120 watt monocrystalline solar panels I got these off eBay and uh, they had one person had bought them and had a review and said they were working well for him and I've been doing research into what type of monocrystalline cells were the best and they said that the company, uh, the company Sun Power was like the pioneer in these monocrystalline and their efficiency and these panels advertise that they use Sun Power solar cells. I don't know really, I mean there's no way I can know if that's true, but that's what they said on their eBay sales pitch. They came with a one year warranty. So if you followed along with the channel at all, you know I made the mistake of buying a cheap charge controller at first that is reviewed at not being a true MPPT charge controller. So I bought something that's almost 10 times the amount when you include the, uh, the, the little square device that plugs in and tells you all the readout information, which isn't here yet, it's in the mail. But this is a 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller by Renogy. It uh, should work really well. It has reviews and a lot of people have been using the Renogy product. So there's three things we need to have plugged into this. Our 12 volt fridge, our laptop, and a strand of LED lights. 
Let me know if you guys have any insight into this, any information that might be helpful to me, and let's continue the conversation about exploring alternative energies. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe and check out my other YouTube videos and check out my blog. It's tinyhousewife.blogspot.com.